Uh, hi everybody. Uh, Shasta says hello. Say hello. Hello. Okay. Um, well, this is the first time I've actually had the uh, version two up and running here. Um, version two of the Christmas lights controller. And I've got a couple of things that I've done wrong here that I've noticed, but um, they're just minor wiring issues for these LEDs down here. Uh, what you can see happening here uh, is a little test program that's running through each channel about a quarter of a second, quarter of a second at a time, and then it turns them all on for about a half a second. And then runs back through the whole program again. Uh, let's see. Now down here, as before, I've, em as I said before, I've embedded um, LED indicators in here. You can see one of them's burnt out here, or not connected. Uh, I'll have to get in there and fix that. But I've also somehow managed to miswire these so that uh, instead of it being one, two, three, four, it's one, two, three, four on every one of those. So I'm going to have to pull that apart and uh, re resolder all those wires, which is going to be a joy. Um, let's see here. Uh, what else have I connected since the last video? Oh, um, here you can see the RS-232, or the FT-232R uh, breakout board, which is connected here. Um, I've also connected uh, a USB cable to the Arduino, and those are mounted... Uh, through the front panel so that I, they can be accessed from the front. Um, let me... Let's, how can I lift this up without screwing everything up here? Or electrocuting myself. You can see here's the ribbon cable to the LED channel indicators, which I'm going to have to pull off and rewire. Um, you can see, oh, I've also added a uh, power indication LED, that green LED right there on the socket that just lets me know that everything's getting powered up. Um, the USB plug and then that tiny little hole there is for the uh, 232R board. And just uh, put some, drilled some holes through, cut them out smooth with a with a uh, electrician's knife, and then uh, uh, hot glued them in there. So that worked pretty well. Um, let's see. I don't think there was anything else that wasn't on here before. I mean, you can see here is that green LED, and it's going to the positive and negative side of the power coming out of uh, that little power supply. Um, and I've also uh, powered the Arduino off of the same power supply. So everything electronics-wise here, all of the circuit boards, all the relay boards, the Arduino... Um, the RF-232, everything is powered through this one little 5-volt, 3-amp um, uh, power supply. So the next step, other than getting those LEDs rewired, uh, is to build the zero-cross detector, which should be trivial since I'm going to be, I'm abandoning my in initial circuit for that and uh, I'm going to go with a oh uh, what is it um, an H11A1 uh, 6 pin dip and a couple of uh, high wattage resistors 
and then to get the code, uh, get that plugged into the Arduino and get the code to recognize the interrupts for the zero crossing point. And we'll talk to you later.